So this video is another floor planner video and it's going to show you how to add doors to your model. So I'm going to go to my floor planner model and this is where I had left off um, in the last video where we created walls. Uh, we have a lot of dimensions showing you can choose to sh leave those or not. Um, but basically what you're going to do now is add doors. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, I'd say, is add your exterior doors. I'm going to click on my floor, or sorry, my original website so that I see what kind of door was planned for this house. And you can see that it has uh, three glass panels. You might be hard pressed to find that exactly, but of course, there's a different style door um, and so on. So there are different variations. So you can do this as you prefer as well. Um, but if you look at the floor plan, uh, we have two exterior doors. One is this front door, which has a side light. And then this, which is a sliding glass door, most likely. Um, I say sliding because it does look like a sliding uh, symbol on the floor plan, but it's not clear that it's glass or not. But anyway, let's go to floor planner. And you want to be on the hammer. And I'm going to say place doors. Now, as you use this more and more, you will find that you can add favorites. Um, you can click on a door. You can drag and drop this. Actually, now that I see the floor plan symbol, that's showing that it's going to open in both directions and it's not a slider. That is a slider. So I'm going to click and drop that one down. Now, if I zoom in, that's my door and you can barely make out the floor plan below. I think it's um, a little bit narrower um, than what's shown here. But what I'd like you to do is go to your standard door sizes because as an architect, you'll realize you can't choose exactly what size door you want. Um, they come in standard sizes uh, and to keep costs down, you want to pick the standard sizes. So a lot, this website's good. It has a lot of different um, standard sizes. Like here's the sliding glass door sizes. It says standard is six feet, eight high by six wide. But then it says what other popular sizes are. You'll see that a lot of them come in um, full increments of full feet. So if I go back to my floor planner model and I see this door, the width is 70 and a half inches. I don't think that's a standard one. So if we go and we want, let's stick with the standard six feet, eight by six wide. Oops. I'm going to say six feet, which is 72 inches. And now it is a standard. Um, the height, I'm going to say six, eight. Sorry, my rabbit days. You have to put the foot symbol in, six foot eight. And there, now it is a standard size. Remember, like I said earlier, this program is created out of the Netherlands. So their standard sizes are all in metric. So that probably explains a lot of the differences in what we think is a standard size versus uh, they, what they have as standard sizes. So that's one door placed. Uh, you can do the similar thing with the exteriors. And you'll see they just have a lot of exterior doors here. One thing I'd like to warn you about is you always want to check the plan view of the door before you place it or even after you place it. If I click on this, you'll see, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's very small, but there's a little right arrow showing the door sliding. So that means this is a pocket door or a sliding door. Um, same thing with this one. If I click on this, now you can see this is more of a traditional hinged front door. Uh, so if you want one that was full glass, you can look around. Here's one that's all glass. And I'm going to place that in. And there. Sorry, I was trying to click on it out here, but you have to click on it where it intersects with the wall. And this is where you would flip it to be inside or outside. And then again, a standard, if you go to this website, you'll see a standard entry door. It's going to be at least 36 inches. Um, and you can use the arrow keys like I'm doing here to nudge it along or move it. Um, and the standard height for an exterior door. 
80 inches. So I'm going to go back here and change this to 80 inches. And now here is where you can change the color if you want. Um, I think the image was black for the frame. And I'm going to make the door itself also black. Okay. And now if I look at my 3D view, you'll see using my right mouse button that I can rotate around. You'll probably want to come and select. Uh, you can't select these in the 3D. You have to go back to the 2D. And I'm going to change this to black as well. Actually, I think I just made that a really dark green. I guess to get that to shut that window down, you got to hit that. Okay. And there you have it. That's how you could do the exterior doors. Interior is going to be very similar. Uh, just make sure you pick the right type of door based on your floor plan. So this is a bifold, a sliding door. You know, this is your standard hinge style doors um, and so on. There's another sliding door. So make sure those match. Make sure you have, are using uh, standard height doors and standard dimensions by going to the website that I provided. That's it for now.